Welcome back to this tutorial and before we move on and add the force to the particles and using curl noise I just want to review what we did so far so first we tweaked some of the parameters in the so first we tweaked some parameters in the VFX graph then we added a position sphere so and we also changed the center of that position using a sine and cosine waves and as you can see that's moving in a shape like this and the particles are being spawned uh, in its volume and they are being pushed this side by a force and also the radius of it is changeable and it gives us different thicknesses so with that being said let's go for the next part now it's time to add the actual force that we wanted so there will be lots of logic in here and different nodes I will be using this will be getting a little bit confusing for you so first add a curl noise 3d parallel curl noise 3d and this is used for simulating volumetrics and liquids in the VFX graph and we will be using it and for the coordinates we have to use get position for each of the particles and connect it to the coordinates and the roughness will be using uh, h over yeah get h and I'll be connecting this to a sample curve and let's change this sample curve so click on it and open it and delete this key and edit this one and change it to 5 and 1 now zoom out a little bit so that you can see the curve better and decrease the left tangent a little bit until you get a curve like this and now connect this to the roughness now this is somehow very advanced and I could not understand actually how it works I need to research more about it and maybe in future tutorials I'll be, be able to give you more information of how this works now let's just lower the frequency to 0 0.5 and increase the octaves to 3 and leave the lacunarity and amplitude as it is right now this will be later multiplied by another sample curve so just take this to another sample curve and this time let's open it and did this key to 5 and 0 0.97 and this one to 113 and 0 0.97 again and zoom out a bit and this time increase the right tangent a bit to get a curve like this one and now multiply it and connect it to the velocity yeah that should be good and save it and after we get back we can see the force that is being applied to the particles and is making these effects it's really cool I really love it and for more better results you can increase the spawn rate and capacity however this really depends on your hardware and you may get some FPS drop now if I get back to in here let's again add some other news to the elite quad and this will be set color and open it I really hate when unity gets like this so set this to 168 168 
and 168. Actually, I want to change the color, color later, so I'll add another color in here and convert it to exposed property so that we can change it in inspector and connect it to here. And after that, we need to set a scale node. For the X, we put 0 0.45, 1.2, and 0 0.5. And that's... Yeah, uh, for the thickness, we need some logic in here. And let's add a set size. And we also be using that logic for the set size too. So let's create an animation curve in here. Remember that the animation curve is the same as sam simple curve. Sorry, sample curve. And I just wanted to show you that you can also use the animation curve in here. So connect this to a sample curve right now. And take them a little bit over here. And for the time, we will using get age. Age, yeah, this one. This will be giving us a range from 0 to 1. So select it. And after that, take this to 1 minus node. And connect it to the thickness map. And from here, take this to a multiply node. And multiply it by 0 0.4 and connect it to the set size. Now, if I get back to the scene view, you can see the particles. However, let's click on it and change the color to 168 and 168 and 168. That's better right now. Let me see, I think there's something wrong in here. Oh yeah, we forgot to change the animation curve in here. So come here and add a key, right click on it and set both of the tangents to linear. and edit it to 0 0.1 and 0, sorry, 0 0.1 and 0 0.9 and the second one 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 yeah, that's what we want now it has been corrected and for the last part, we will be adding a force to the particles to make them reach a certain position. So, for example, let's imagine this position and we want to add force to all of the particles that are away from it to take all of the particles to that point. So, for that, we will be using a position node and we will convert it to an exposed property. I'll change its space by using the change space node. And after that, we subtract it from the position of our particles. So I use get position in here. Remember not to use old position or target position, we want the position. And let me show you what this really shows us. And if we imagine that point in here, this will be giving us a long vector from each of the particles from here to here, like here to here and here to here, for all of the particles. So this will be having a long magnitude and 
every time that we change this position this will be giving us different results so I just want to get the orientation of the vector so I'll be using normalize and after that we want to set the force ourselves so again I'll be multiplying it by a float in here and convert this float to exposed property and now let's take them into here make a little bit cleaner and now here we in the add node to add both of the forces and get this to the velocity and now we are done there is nothing else we have to add except one node I'll be getting back to it later if I go in here you can see that a, that force is being applied to the particles and they are trying to reach point zero 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 and that is the exact same position of our VFX graph and if I set this to zero right now now you can see that they are moving more freely and no force is being applied to them and for the last part unity also added a camera fade sorry a camera fade node and this will make the light go through the particles more easily However, I tried to understand what the node really does and because of mm, lack of documentation, I could not understand it completely. So after all, I just leave it as it is and you have to deal with it. Now let's experiment more with our force that we added and let's take this to here and if I increase the force like about 10 a lot of force that is being applied and you can see all of the particles are trying to reach this position in here now if I increase the X and remember that this is relative so if I take this anywhere else that position is not going to change and let's take the Z back and now let's just decrease the force to 1 now you can see the particles are flowing in this direction to this point and this is giving us this effect in here I also want to change the color to something about why isn't this changing? Yeah, I like this color. Now you can see it is really giving us cool effect. You can also use it for um, leaf fall falling during the autumn season. And now for the last part, I can also enable the density volume. And if I go inside it, you can see the shades of lights in here. So this will be the end of this tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. I will be answering you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching video, stay safe and I'll see you next time.